Hello everyone! In this video we're going to draw a koati. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the right, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First, make four small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The two circles should be roughly the same size. Place this circle slightly higher than the first circle. On the left side, draw a smaller circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. This circle should be about half the size of the first circle. The edges of the circles should overlap slightly. On the bottom left side of the head, draw a curved line as a guide for the muzzle. This guide should be similar to an arc on its side. Pay attention to the size of the muzzle in relation to the head. Make the tip of the arc pointy. Draw a sloping line across the entire head. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. On the top right side of the head, draw a small arc as a guide for the ear. On the left side, draw a smaller, thinner arc as a guide for the other ear. Under the first circle, draw a vertical line as a guide for the front leg. Bend the bottom tip of the line to indicate the foot. This line should be short in relation to the body. To the left, draw a similar line as a guide for the other front leg. Under the circle on the right, draw a slightly longer vertical line as a guide for the hind leg. Bend the bottom part of the line to indicate the foot. Draw a similar line to the left as a guide for the other hind leg. Connect the head to the body using short lines to create the guide for the neck. The bottom line should slope down. Connect the circles in the middle using two longer lines to finish the guide for the torso. Curve these lines slightly. On the top right side of the body, draw a long curved line as a guide for the tail. This line should be very long in relation to the body. The shape of this line should be similar to the letter S. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Use the sloping line as a guide to help you position the eye inside the head. Pay attention to how small the eye is in relation to the head. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Make the sides of the shape pointy for the corners of the eye. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw a small circle and shade it in for the pupil. Draw a few curved lines around the eye for a bit of bare skin. Keep these lines close to the shape of the eye. 
Draw a few short strokes farther out around the eye for a bit of fur. On the tip of the muzzle, lightly sketch a small angled line for the nose. Darken the front part of the guide to create the tip of the nose. Make the line angular so that the tip of the nose is pointy. Draw a short line inside the shape for the nostril. Follow the basic path of the guides as you draw the nose. Use short strokes as you darken the top part of the nose to indicate fur. Draw another short line inside the shape for the other nostril. Draw a short curved line to the right of the nostril to make the shape longer. On top of the nose, draw a curved line for the top part of the muzzle. Curve the line along the path of the initial guideline. Under the nose, draw a line that curves to the right for the front part of the muzzle and the mouth. Use a series of short strokes as you draw the mouth for a furry texture. Darken the arc on the top right side to create the ear. Draw a series of short strokes along the bottom part of the shape for the furry base of the ear. Add more short strokes inside the shape for the ear's furry opening. Darken the small arc on the left side using short strokes to create the other ear. Draw a few short strokes inside the shape too. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the path of the guides for a furry texture. Add a small bump on the left side of the head for the thick brow. On the left side, connect the brow to the top of the muzzle. Add more short strokes on the bottom part of the guides for the lower jaw. Make the right side of the head slightly wider than the initial circle. Use the second line from the right that's under the body as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top of the shape wide and then gradually make it thinner toward the bottom. Curve the bottom part to the left to create the foot. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use a few short strokes at the top for a furry texture. The shape of the foot should be flat. On the tip of the foot, draw a few small triangular shapes for the claws. Curve the claws and make them pointy. Use the line on the left as a guide to draw the other front leg the same way. Lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. On the tip of the foot, draw a few triangular shapes for the claws. A big part of this leg will be hidden behind the first front leg. Use the line on the far right as a guide to draw the hind leg. Just like with the front legs, first lightly sketch the shape of the hind leg around the guideline. Make the top part of the shape wide and the bottom narrow. Curve the bottom part of the shape to the left to create the foot. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Use a series of short strokes at the top for a furry texture. The top part of the leg should be inside the body. 
On the tip of the foot, draw a few small triangular shapes for the claws. Draw a few lines to the right of the claws for the toes. Draw the other hind leg around the guideline that's to the left. A big part of this leg will be hidden behind the first hind leg so only draw the visible section. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use short strokes as you darken the underside of the body for a furry texture. Don't overlap the legs as you darken the underside of the body. Use the curved line on the top right side as a guide to draw the tail. First, lightly sketch the shape of the tail around the guideline. Keep the edges of the tail close to the guideline so that the overall shape is thin. The bottom part of the tail should be slightly wider. When you get the shape of the tail right, darken the lines. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape for a furry texture. Follow the path of the guide as you darken the shape. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Draw a few shapes inside the head to create the code pattern. Shade the head but leave the coat pattern blank for the white fur. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. The strokes on the body should have a horizontal orientation and a vertical orientation on the legs and tail. Use a dark value to shade the legs. As you shade, separate each stroke a bit so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Draw small sections of dark value inside the tail for the ringed pattern. Use a darker value on the underside of the shapes to create some shadows. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a koati. Add a medium value inside the eye. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the Kawadi. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.